president is supposed to be executing the laws of this country, and we're not really seeing that all right now. And I think as long as that attitude exists here, and the other attitude is people saying, well, you know, immigration and illegal immigration are the same thing. And when politics touches the edge of everything, we're in trouble. I mean, we really are in trouble. Well, we have, we have a president that's taken this to a new level, and, and it's put us in a real, real position where he's just absolutely in, uh, ignoring the Constitution, ignoring the laws, ignoring the checks and balances. Uh, you know, the problem is, you know, what do you do for those that say impeach him for for uh, for breaking the laws or bypassing right. the laws? You know, could that pass in the House? It it, it probably it probably could. Uh, is the majority of American people in favor of impeaching the president? I'm not sure. About I don't that. think so. But I. But the point is, you're left in kind of a, a purgatory here, political purgatory. And what do you do? But I think I think Republicans have to be heard. I think they have to be heard, not saying talking points, but standing up like you do and talking plain talk with people. I think that's really what needs to be said, and it needs to be said in a chorus daily, so people start hearing that as well. And I, and I think what, what, what happened in Virginia is, is what you're going to see yep. happen around the country when they're going to look at their specific member of Congress and their own state, uh, their own United States senator, and if they don't feel that you're standing up for them, uh, they're going to throw you out, and they're going to send somebody else there. This wasn't about money. I mean, this David Brett was, I mean, it's just, it was a historical election. Uh, this little-known uh, uh Economics never professor. Ran for anything took out the majority leader. It's never happened in the history of America. There's a big message here uh, that that you know people in Washington better pay close attention to. It's going to be interesting to see.